Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends. All right, I skipped the day there, but I did have a reason for it. Yesterday, we really didn't have anything new going on. And today, of course, we do have something new going on. And I wanted to cover that. I didn't want to skip a day with it. So I thought it would be better just not to do a video yesterday and just do it today. It is something that I might do in the future, maybe a little bit more often. So just keep your eyes open for that. All right, before we get into the new thing, let's just talk about what else we have. And of course, why don't we start with the marathon? All right, we have reached lap eight. We're approaching lap nine. I don't know if we're going a lot further. You know, we're kind of at the halfway point, actually kind of exactly at the halfway point here, right? And I just don't know if we're going for 15. I don't know whether or not we're going to be able to do that as a team. It may be time to uh, consider... Yeah, consider um, expending more resources on this. Now, I have to say, I have not had a chance to contribute to this race as much as I would like. Really, I'm, I'm feeling kind of embarrassed with myself. Some people, and I'm looking at you, Liam, have absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about, and unfortunately have been kind of carrying us. So that's kind of the reason I'm thinking we may not get a lot further, and we may have to just, you know... Focus on the future. In terms of me, obviously we've had people contributing a lot more than me, and unfortunately, I'm all the way down here. And I'm just going to go all the way down to the line here. And right there, right there. So yeah, I mean, I haven't had as much, because of circumstances and things, so I haven't had as much chance to contribute. Just whenever I seem to go in there, there doesn't seem to be anything that I can do except like one thing or something like that. And of course, in our group here, we have teams that are already like up to 35, so you know they're going to get stuff. Um, not many there with the actual 15 there so far. Anyway, I don't know if we're going to get any further, but, you know, like I said in the previous video, uh, Kozarg is certainly not a, um, a bad booby prize. So, wouldn't mind getting him. Obviously, we would like to get Krabby Droid, but, yeah, marathons. Marathons are just kind of these, uh, soul-crushing things, and I'm not talking about the ones you run in. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for that. Um, like I said, if we get Kozarg, I'm, I'm happy with that. We're going to have to see the way it works out in the future. All right, so that's that done. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is, of course, we have... You notice how these pop up during races? Yeah, they seem to pop up during races a lot. All right, and uh, you might take a look at Copycat here. I... Um, I bred one. He was actually sitting in the um, the hatchery the last time we got together. When I hatched him, he had three open ruin slots. So I immediately scrapped the other one. So as soon as I get an opportunity, I'm going to rank him up to one. Uh, I've already copied his name over. And I'm going to give him some decent speed too, because at that point, he's very usable. Three open ruin slots, he's going to be rank one. He's going to get some good stuff. Although... I have to really figure out what I'm going to do with some individuals because not everybody can have great speed, right? Anyway, um, these are very good. Is this the individual who tore me apart the last time? I might want to consider buying some of that one. Yeah, I might want to consider that. Unfortunately, I only have seven minutes left. It is going for another three and a half days, which is a good thing. If there are individuals that you want to get, if there are individuals you want to start working on, these are a good way of doing it. Unfortunately, they do this during races, and I can't help but wonder if that isn't intentional, you know? I'm just a suspicious sort here, right? But like I said, there's a lot of good individuals, and uh, if you want to finish somebody off or get somebody started, like for instance, if I wanted to do Dr. Victor, well, then I could just do that. Although I don't think he'd be the first one I would do. Yeah, there's so many individuals that I should... Um, I should, you know, craft and then hatch up and such. You know, the problem is I am just having a very serious space issue. I am really serious. I am deleting guys left and right in order to fit them in. They really, 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 really want you to buy this. They really want you to buy this. That's the reason I think they're, uh, they keep throwing new guys at us. And you might also notice that I am crafting, I actually crafted him or I am hatching him. So we should get that one out tomorrow. So I'll do a video for him. Uh, War Master is important, so I'll, I'll definitely do that. Okay, now, the reason that I delayed it. Let's go on and see the Raiders of the Lost Race. All right, we're doing this again, and this is pretty good. We have um, four contestants this time. Now, the idea, of course, is basically it's a maze. 
You get maze coins in the re the normal way. You collect your gold. You feed your creatures. You collect um, food from the hatcheries. You do PvP battles, such like everything you'd normally do to get maze coins. Now they've stated, don't look for a discount. There isn't going to be a discount. Don't look for a dungeon. There isn't going to be a dungeon. You get the coins in the ways you normally would, and there's no reason not to just spend them, right? And they have the three individuals. Obviously, if you look on the left here, there's a definite difference in the cost. And I think that's probably because of the strength difference here, right? All right, we'll look at the first one. It's purple. That means because it's magic, right? Uh, that's Lernin. And Lernin is actually very good, but in the context of the other three, not as good. This one, I believe, is one of the first individuals that had multiple torture effects in its attack and also has a stamina leak. So it's pretty darn good. If you don't have a good damage-dealing monster, a magic monster, it's, it's not a bad pickup. Um, it really also depends on whether or not you have a lot of legendaries and how many coins you think you're going to get. You know, so, I mean, the thing is, if you think that you can get all the way down and get one of them, yeah, go for it. Now, the trick is these little uh, encounters, these little combats. These little combats, basically, you need to have race creatures for them. So that's the thing. All four of these individuals were at the center of races. So you need to have race creatures in order to do these encounters, right? So let me just pick one. Yeah, I'm going to be doing this one. So, okay, uh, actually, let me just move him up. All right, uh, do the fight. Okay, notice who it chose. These, all these individuals were at the center of races. So if I was to, and I'm going to change them, by the way. Uh, let's change Birdgar. Everybody here was at the center of a race. Actually, was he in a race? Was Shork in a race? I don't remember Shork being in a race. The other ones I, I do remember. Where is him? And let's see. Yeah, I don't remember Shork being in a race, but then again, I guess he was. All right, so Prince Charmless. And then just go Bird Gardener. Go for destruction, right? Oh, that was actually a really bad... Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, I didn't see him over there, did I? Uh, Balor, if you're wondering who I was talking about, um, do I want to do Shade Moon? Ah, Mount Azuma. All right, why don't we do that then? Yeah, um, Mr. Anticipation there in the front. Right, yeah, that's... I didn't want to do that. All right, and we're just going to uh, do this. All right, and uh, slime. And uh, have some quicksands and some total blind here. Okay, and then, of course, why don't we just do a little bit of guard down. Okay, a couple of you guys are in big trouble. All right, let me think. Um, yeah, I'll just like do that. I really want him dead. And let's get some position in, even though it's just basically doing damage. I'm pretty sure you're dead already, so. In case I wasn't clear with, oh, hey, how are you doing? Can I have some of those coins, please? Gems would be okay, too. That's not okay. That is very, very not not okay. So I think I kind of just told you what I'm going to be doing. I don't know if I'm going to get many um, coins for this, but I think whatever I do get, I'm going to spend on trying to get cells for Maki Teflam. Now, like I can mention, Lernin is pretty good, but the others are better. Now, uh, Birdgar is the second one. He's the earth one. He's on the brown line here. He's obviously very good. Uh, the reason I took him out, of course, is because he depends on extra turning attacks. Big, heavy, single target attacks. So obviously I didn't want to put him against uh, Marquis de Flamme because if he has anticipation. That's all kinds of ugly right there. Now the third one, the green one, of course, this is nature. That is Prince Charmless. He was a guy I had in there before I saw that Marquis de Flamme was over there. He is completely dependent on extra turning. 
and he can be devastating, truly devastating, unless, of course, somebody has put speed on him, in which case you have diminished his power. Don't put speed on him. Damage, stamina, no, that's what you do. You don't put speed on him. Never put speed on him. That's why you have like a denial, to give him the opportunity to attack. And, of course, on the end here, on the fiery red line, we have Marquis de Flamme, and um, he's got some really good damaging attacks. But as I mentioned, his most devastating thing is anticipation. If somebody uses an attack that gives an extra turn to himself or another monster on his own team, he's going to slip in there and attack before that extra turn takes place. So he could just outright kill the guy who's about to get his extra turn. So it's never a good idea to do that with somebody like that. Those anticipation ones are deadly. He might be the deadliest one of them, except, of course, for something like Ragnarok, who also has anticipation. But anyway, the idea is you pick your path. And you can see I already picked mine, right? You pick your path and you get as many pieces as you can for them. You raise the, uh, the coins. If you spread it around, you know, you're not going to be able to get enough to actually get everybody, but it may depend on your situation. See, I started with about 20 extra cells for Marquis de Flamme, so I may do that. See, my Prince Charmless, he's 110, and I don't have anything extra for him. Uh, Birdgar, I think I have a little bit extra, but he's 115, so I'd need a lot of cells for him. Lernin, I already have him at uh, 105, and I really don't see pushing him any farther forward, you know? It's just in terms of magic creatures, I have some better ones, right? So anyway, this is, uh, this is actually pretty good. Pretty good. It's a good chance to get uh, uh, powerful monsters. You know, if nothing else, you can get a bunch of cells for them. And maybe, you know, with that sale going on, you might be able to put something together here. You know, if you go down the Burtgar way here, you know, you might be able to buy some extra cells for him or one of the other ones in the sale. So definitely a good opportunity to get some powerful creatures. And, of course, they're race creatures, so, you know, you use them for these attacks. Now, the thing is, if you don't have any race creatures, yeah, you're kind of out of luck. And, by the way, I'd like to point one thing out. I made a very stupid mistake the last time they did this. Very stupid mistake. You want to, This is embarrassing how stupid this idea was. First of all, you can also see they have some keys in here. They do that for chests. By the way, we're going to open up a chest, by the way. Um, yeah, I, I actually got all the keys, pardon me, all the cells from the first path, and then I did something really stupid. I went down to the finish line. I spent a lot of coins without thinking and went down to the finish line. Yes, I got the Panda Explorer, and I spent a lot of coins to do it. And I was like beating my head on the table. Why did I do that? So, yeah, don't do that. You don't need to go to the finish line. When you get the last set of each cells, you're done with that monster. The last, the finish line, the finish line is to get the pandas. Don't do that. Don't do that. Take that money, go to the top of one of the other ones, and, and go down a different path. Because that was, that was embarrassing. But I think, I think it's good that I teach you from my embarrassment. So don't do that. Don't do that. All right, I think that's about everything. They do have a Nemesis dungeon going now. If you have Nemesis creatures, I only have one. So obviously I'm not going to be doing that. Um, I think they have their selling the chest and stuff. I think I mentioned something about, where was it here? Because just today, where is it? Shop. Uh, let's go over here. See, you got some Nemesis stuff going here. If you have the cells, I don't have enough. I have 33 at the top, as you can see. And these things here, I guess for the keys, you can get some more maze coins if you go down the right path and, and do that. Now, what I'm looking for... Oh, and by the way, these will expire. You see those times up there? See this one here? For two, you can get 100. That, that is a countdown you're seeing right there. Those will expire, and they're gone. So go after them as soon as you can. That's all I'm saying about that. Uh, where is what I'm looking for? There we go. The Video Master Water Chest. All right. I do have 20, so let's open it up. I'm guessing... Blob? Oh, Foganoi. Yeah, I knew it was going to be in that category. I'm actually surprised it wasn't Mystery. 
But it is pretty much, I think I already have one of him. I just never had him. I just don't have any space. And I think that that is about it. Uh, like I said, Shahrazar is actually hatching. I'll have something for him tomorrow. I don't think there's anything else new. Um, the war just kind of ended a couple of hours ago. It didn't work out too well for us. But, you know, considering that the season's going to begin in about three days, I'm okay with that. I, I wouldn't mind actually losing again to ensure that we don't get that eight-hour cooldown that I so very hate so much. Okay, and that's about it, except I think, of course, for uh, PvP. Right, so, I mean, the thing is, there's no war to do, and I'm not going to do anything else, so maybe we can get a short video in here. Uh, the last one went a little bit longer than I would have liked. So, let's jump into this, because who knows, this is probably going to take a long time, right? Okay, our trophy count is in a good place, so let's begin. All right, and by the way, I once again had uh, lots of options. Lots of options indeed. I really appreciate that. Makes it much easier for me. Makes it easier for you too, I suppose. Anyway, let's get going. Our first team today was suggested by Alliance of Soccer. Alliance of Soccer gave me four teams, and uh, this is the one that I chose. We're starting with Water, and that's going to be Terra. Oh, actually, that's pretty funny when you think about it, because the next individual was actually Jello. And there he is. Uh, in the last place, you know, it is not Cleo. Cleo is not actually being chosen today. And then we have... It isn't darkness, though, but it's just a different lady. A very dangerous one. One I'd really like to rank up. But there she is. Hella. All right, so we, uh, we have a very strong team. Lots of damage here. So let's see what we can get going. Pumpkin Seed. I don't think I want to do that. No, I don't. Okay, hey, man, I'm too scared of that one up the middle. Actually, I think we're going to do a refresh because none of these teams are really worthy. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't know. I got, I, it's very tempting to take that team on the left out, but I think it's a trap. I can just imagine the ruins be amazing. Um, what about the team on the right? Extremely dangerous. But, you know, the thing about it is that we do have... We do have some strong individuals here. Very risky. If the Myrak gives them really good protection, we're in a lot of trouble. This is probably a mistake, but I'm going to do it. And I would be concerned if their ruins were actually something that concerned me. Uh, we could still be in a lot of trouble if Myrak up there does bad stuff. Okay, you are dodging group attacks. That's a problem. All right, what do you... Can only be damaged by special element. All right, and you, Trake, you, you, you messed over yourself. You gave yourself the worst one. All right, well, I'm taking stamina, but the thing is, I'm not going to be taking it away from him, though. What did you just do? Oh, you had a charging staff. Okay. That was, well, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Okay, and you're mega taunting. That's not good, but you know what? This is not going to work out well for you because... Wait a minute, what? Hold it a minute, what? Oh, oh, that is devastating. You have dodge area on. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, we're in a lot of trouble here. All I can do is charge. Oh, that is a, that's a huge problem. All right, I can't. I got a buff. We're in a lot of trouble. Uh, until this one moves, there's nothing I can do because it's mega taunting, but it's dodging area. Oh, I can I can go after it with single target attacks. All right, let's do uh, a freeze maybe. Okay, you lost that one, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, okay, well, you're still doing that. All right, um... Okay, you got a total blind going there. Um... I mean, I might as well just charge. She's gonna miss. Oh, this is bad. Um, that's a total blind. 
Okay, and now you don't have a total blind. And you have total blind on! Okay, uh, let's see. I need to get rid of you. Good. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, you're gonna die. Um, Essence Steel. Let me think. Um, Dark Submission. Oh, wow, you're just like completely dead now, aren't you? All right, can I get a freeze going on somebody? She's already dead. Yep, you really shouldn't even bother attacking her. All right, pinwheel. Okay, he resisted the torture effect. Okay, boom. Woo! Hella saves the day. That was a lot uglier than it should have been. I didn't see that the um, the Coro Brutalis when it kicked in the uh, the Mega Taunt that it still had the area dodge. If I I should have been paying attention to that. Yeah, you're just you're pulling an attitude with me today, aren't you? Yes, he is. He's pulling an attitude. Okay, let's hope this goes a little bit better. Our next team was suggested by Lurky Murky. And Lurky Murky gave me three teams, and this is the one that I chose. We're starting over in... This is an individual who actually got chosen a lot for some reason. I'm not sure about that. But, uh, you know, leprechauns always like attention, right? So we're starting with Flynn. All right, next we're going over to... Darkness, and I'm going down a bit for this one for someone I would really like to rank up. Um, and that is Angelina. All right, and finally, over in metal, we have yet another lady here. I guess Flynn is a ladies' man here because all the ladies go with him. Where is she? There she is. Nebula. All right, obviously, we have a very dangerous team here. All right, let's see what we got. I don't see anybody worthy of this team. Okay, the middle team is definitely worthy, but I'm not willing to take that risk. Um, yeah, 115 Tamarian. I just can't do that. No, that is just... I don't know about this team on the right, because the Baba Yaga is only 100. So, I, you know, the thing is, if I know that Angelina is going first, they're all just... They're toast. So let me just do another refresh. I mean, there's a lot of damage, but if the denial is helpless, then, oh, and the 115, no, we're not doing you. Um, up the middle? We could do up the middle. All right, 110, that could be a problem. Let's do that. Uh, okay, no support speed. Is, is he really faster? No, he can't be. He's not just the other... A little bit there. You know, you got to unlock that one, you know? Got to unlock that one. All right. Well, obviously, we're going to do this. Activate cooldowns. We'll die after three turns. Here's the fun part. The vault will be able to go, but if the vault does its extra turning, it'll kill itself really fast. One... Oh, that was it. What is going on here? Um, I think you guys need a night of fun. You know, before you die. Okay, that was, that was kind of mean. Uh, let's see. No, not this one. Reflective camouflage. Heavy special damage to one enemy. Metal weakness to everybody else. Alright, I'm just going to do damage to you. Okay, you resisted. You should stop resisting. Uh, as a matter of fact, have some curse. Okay, somebody is just mean over there. Okay, don't touch Angelina. She doesn't like it. 
You're dying quickly. Boom. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? Uh, fun dungeons for everybody! Okay, I didn't see any damage there. Possession? Okay, you can't be possessed, but you can be possessed. Okay, I think you guys have got a lot of problems, though. Uh, let me add to them. Actually, I think she took all your problems away. Nebula's nice like that. Alright, and of course I advanced the legendary pass. I don't mind the uh, multiplayer ones. I do mind the breeding ones. They're really annoying. Oh, starting to soften up there, huh? Maybe you are. All right, so let's continue. Our third team today was suggested by Legendary Gamer Number One, and Legendary Gamer Number One only gave me actually I think it was like five teams. I think there was five teams. It was four or five? There was one and another comment, and uh, I chose this one because I thought this was a kind of good team. So let's begin over in water, and let's go for Tara's mom. All right, next, uh, we're going over to Darkness. Someone I am meaning to rank up, but the thing about it is it's just time. It really takes a while. You have to, like, get the egg, hatch the eggs, split them up, all kinds of stuff. But uh, Crazy Uncle Grim will just have to wait for his upgrade, right? And finally, over here, somebody we just saw a second ago while we were going for Ursula, because he's right down here. And I got some cells from him for the current uh, Monster Wood thing. Uh, I don't think it got mentioned. They're doing a pretty good Monster Wood combo for cells, and uh, he is actually one of them. I'm glad to see they're mixing it up now in terms of not just doing the same old ones over and over again. So I think I have about 80 extra cells for him, so I don't know. If I see something pop up, I would like to rank him up because he actually has some very strong base stats and some really good skills. Uh, hopefully we'll get to demonstrate those. All right. Uh, yeah, Tank Arion. That's just, I don't think I want to do that. That's just kind of ugly right there. Besides, I don't want to deal uh, Thalassa for Thalassa. That's just kind of ugly. All right. Uh, is that really much of a denial on the right? I guess maybe Cryotin, but he's not really very fast. Up the middle? I think that's about comparable. All right, let's go. Except, of course, the Baba Yaga has damage. Okie dokie. Yeah, if I had a 105 Baba Yaga, I'd put damage on it too. Oh, wow, I went first. Isn't that just amazing? Brilliant refrigeration. Heavy water damage to all enemies applies bleeding. Okay, and let's think about this. How about a little deadly rip here? All right, uh, very heavy damage as a low chance of instantly killing. It could instantly kill somebody random, though, but I wouldn't mind getting rid of you. Oh, I th did I get the damage there, or do I get the insta-kill? I mean, I look like a lot of damage. All right, what do we got here? Um, let me think. I could just do that again. Because after all, she's going to go immediately, right? And then I'm going to take... Um, take that off. And then put a Mega Freeze on you. Alright, let's think. Two-stroke fans. I just want to get rid of both of them. Force Exhaustion... Moves all status effects for itself. One extra turn. How long until... Oh, it's three turns until he gets the big one back. Yeah, just get rid of him. Because the other guy's not going to be going anytime soon, right? Massive special damage, make bleed. I mean, he's pretty much dead, I think, as soon as his turn comes up. No, he's got a little bit of life left. All right. Um, just finish him. I was really counting on that Baba Yaga being uh, denial there, but I don't know. Um, yeah, damage on a Baba Yaga. I, I just I don't I don't understand that.
Okay, you're trying to make nice again. This is good. I hope you'll have one more opportunity. All right, and speaking of that one more opportunity, let's go with our fourth and final team for today. Our fourth and final team was suggested by Will is Chill. And Will is Chill gave me one team, and this is it. We're starting over in Fire, and we're going with Nova. Then we're moving over to the Light. And this is going to be... Lance. And finally, we're going back into the Fire for Bram. So obviously we have a very strong team. Uh, hopefully the trophy count will give us something good. Yet the left would just be asking for so much trouble, wouldn't it? Especially with the Megaton tank. Well, he's 105, which means he is Megatonting, which means that would be disastrous. I mean, up the middle... Chances are his uh, sunblast is going to be faster than my sunblast. So why don't we just do a refresh? The other one was all just a hundreds. Um, there's a good question. Up the middle, no. No, there's no denial there. they just be basically we'd kill them. Um, the one on the right, way too high in levels. We could do this one on the left, and we could try it. All right, let's see what goes on. I guess it really depends on how much speed as opposed to... I think that Nova wins this. Oh, there's a, there's support. My my two guys are giving support too. Seventy six. I think you're probably rocking like an eighty. Yeah, you're rocking eighty three. So you're going first. All right, let's go. I think we got this. Whoever goes first usually has a huge advantage, especially if you're going to be activating cooldowns. Okay, you're artifact hating. Oh, we're in trouble now. Okay, how to kill your dragon. Are there any dragons over here? Yeah, I'd like to get rid of you. Like I said, I'd like to get rid of you. And then have curse and sunburn. Okay, uh, let's see. Quick bite on you. And then death. On you, and then a soul rip on you, and you're already dead, and then ancestral bite. Uh, Nova had two elites backing him up there. Last chance to be nice. Okay, ruins, I suppose. It's not food and money like you were giving me earlier. Okay. That's an unusual combo up the middle. Okay, and I think that that is it for today. Sorry about the skip day, but I wanted to cover the Raiders of the Lost Race, and uh, I didn't want to put it off till tomorrow because that would be like halfway through the event, right? Because it's the end today, it's only three days, so just basically collect coins the way you would for, uh, you know, your regular mazes and just use them down the path you want. If you want to scatter and get the cells, that's fine. Uh, maybe the uh, individuals will pop up in here. As a matter of fact, hold on a second. Yeah, I'm saving that one for a rainy day if it pops up there. Because um, I do want to put um, Copycat in there. I'm looking for the shop. We should have a new selection here. All right. I don't see anything that I'm actually jumping up and down about. Yeah, I'm getting close to Copperbeard getting to 110. Singularis. Radar. What was that? Hmm. Yeah, I, I got some individuals I should be crafting. But uh, like I said, it takes time, and unfortunately, they keep doing breeding events that you have to participate in, right? All right, so like I said, we got the race going. Uh, we at Very Leaf have Kozark right now, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, Raiders of the Lost Maze, make your decision who you're going to go for. And like I said, those chests with the keys, you know, in here. You know, these keys down here, if you go down far enough, you get the keys. Um, those chests expire, so keep an eye open on them, right? Uh, that's something that I missed also the first time this event uh, happened. So uh, make your decision on who you're going to go for. Remember, like, I'm just doing this path over here, even though I'm never going to get very far. As it is, I can move one more step. But I'll get ten more cells for him, you know? And of the four of them, 
that's the one I really want sells for the most, right? I think he's 105 for me. I'd like to get him to 110. He'd be a lot more devastating at that point. And I think that that is going to be it for today. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.